Hello Floss Two. Welcome back to my channel if you're a returning subscriber. If you're new here, hello, my name is Mary Ashcraft. This is my Floss Tube channel where I talk about counted cross stitching and anything else that I feel like. Um, first off, well, okay, so this is Floss Tube number eight. Today's date, I realize I have not been doing this. Today's date is November 19th. Um, it is a Thursday. I'm also filming in the morning rather than the afternoon and I think that's gonna be better because the landscapers are not right outside my door. Um, last week some of you had some sound issues. Hopefully from here on out you don't have any issues. Um, my husband for two weeks was working overnights um, where he worked from 9.30 p.m. to 6 a.m. and then slept during the day. So last week when I filmed he was asleep. I was really trying not to wake him. So I was not talking as loudly as I normally do. Um, trust me, normally I talk very loudly. I'm a former theater kid where I was taught you have to talk so loud that the last person in the last row can hear you. And plus I'm an attorney, so I feel like just naturally we talk loud anyways. Um, so um, I'm hoping, I say this every time, but I'm hoping that this is a short video because I actually don't have a lot to show you. Um, this week was, I feel like I say every week that it was a rough week. Um, in past weeks, it was rough because like my husband's car got broken into or something happened, you know, where like it just made it difficult. Um, but Monday on the 16th, we, um, celebrated our two-year wedding anniversary and on the 17th we celebrated three years of me passing the bar and then on the 16th and 17th which I'll explain in a second we celebrated um four years of my dad passing um and I say that because he technically died on the 16th but we didn't find out until the 17th because he lived alone. And um, so we didn't find out until somebody went down there to find him. Um, so this week emotionally was hard. Um, I don't know why, but this year it just kind of hit a little bit harder, my dad's death. Probably because I had another kid. So I'm again reminded every single day that my dad is missing out on my children's lives. Um, Plus with 2020, it's just, it's like, it's just a rough year, you know? So it, this week was hard. Um, so I didn't get a lot of stitching done on Monday and Tuesday. I also had headaches that night, both of those nights. So um, that was, that was rough. Cause like I was trying to put the kids to sleep while having a headache. And then I would sit down on the couch after they were asleep and I'd be like, I don't want to stitch right now because I have a headache. So I would um, watch When Calls the Heart and uh, just look at my phone or um, the World of Cross Stitching magazine has a Sudoku in the back and I have two of those issue two issues so I uh, I just went and I did those on one of the nights so um, so yeah I don't have a lot to show you um, because I haven't done a ton of stitching um, I have one finish which um, I'm sure you're, you're saying at the screen, if you are a returning subscriber, you know exactly what, what this is. This is my polar bear. Um, so this was in, this is in the ornament, 2020 ornament edition of Just Cross Stitch Magazine. This is the polar bear. It's actually right there. Um, so I... The only called for color that I used um, is the white in the polar bear. I used the shading colors that were in the Santa um, because I thought those looked nice. Um, and then the sky for the Northern Lights is a it's a DMC variegated floss that I have in this box. Um, uh, 4050. So DMC 4050. That's what this is. And at first, I think I shared this last time that I was nervous how the sky would turn out. Um, because I just wasn't sure if it was going to look right. And 
I think it looks fine. I um, I asked my husband, I was like, do you know what the Aurora Borealis is? And he's like, no. And so then he looked it up and he's like, oh, the Northern Lights. I'm like, yes, the Aurora Borealis. Um, <laughs> I was like, does, does this look like that? And he was like, uh, yeah, I think so. So, um, so I like the way that it turned out. This is on a Navy Ada. Um, so I need to figure out how to finish this, um, fully finish this. I went to several craft stores looking for inspiration. Um, I did not do so well at measuring this. This was the first time I had actually measured a piece using, you know, what they say in here, like it's this many inches by this many inches. Um, so that I got the, the right amount of fabric with enough on the edges to fully finish it. I don't know what I did wrong because that did not happen. Um, so, so there's just a little itty bitty on the sides. Um, so I, I have to finish it before Thanksgiving because my sister is coming for Thanksgiving and, um, this is for her. So I got to figure out how I want to finish it. I think I have enough to get, you know, to curl it around on some sticky board. Um, but I just, I don't know. Nothing is speaking to me. I, I just, I don't know. I am getting a sewing machine for Christmas. So I did think about waiting until I got that and then making a pillow. Um, I just, I don't know. So if you have any suggestions for my polar bear, let me know because I am all ears. I'm all ears. I, I don't know what to do. Um, I don't know if I should make it into an ornament, if I should make it more like a decoration, like Priscilla style, if you follow Stitching with the Housewives. Um, so I don't know. So you tell me. Because um, I just... Also, so that's my only finish. Also, I'm in a new location again today. Um, I finally decorated my kid's tree so that I'm in my daughter's room right now. Um, so just want to show you. Um, oh my gosh, I just remembered that somebody asked about my gingerbread tree that was in the background last week. It's not an actual tree like this. It is like one solid piece of, I don't know, ceramic or whatever it is, material, um, that makes it look like a tree. So it looks like a gingerbread village in a tree. Um, it was from a company that my mom sold many, many years ago. Um, so I, it's not something you can get anymore unless somebody's selling it on eBay, but, um, it is a really cool thing. So next week I do plan on being in the living room. I will show it then, but this is my kid's tree. It has a random assortment of ornaments. Um, it's got a, a star on top, but I kind of cut it off cause it was throwing off my lighting. Um, we got green and blue plaid and birch ribbon. Um, <clears throat> we got animals. We got woodland and safari animals. And we have dinos gold dinosaurs. Here's a gold tri triceratops. Triceratops is my favorite dinosaur, in case you're wondering. Um, comment down below what your favorite dinosaur is because I feel like everybody has one. So, um, I want to know because I love dinosaurs. Um... And then we have, my daughter loves trains, so we have a random train. And we also have a random police car because my, my stepdad is a, is a cop and he is my daughter's favorite person on this planet. Every day she tells me she wants to go to Papa's house. And so when we were in the store, she saw that and she goes, oh, that's Papa's car. And, and so we had to get it. Um, so it's just like a very random assortment. We also have a random Mickey and Minnie. So um, I feel like this really captures <laughs> my daughter. <laughs> Last year she had a pink tree. I felt like I couldn't do that now that I have a son, even though he's not sleeping in this room and I'm sure he does not care because he's only six and a half months old. I figured I couldn't do a pink tree, but I think this is more representative of both of them anyways. So, um, so that's, that's their little tree. And our tree did come. It is in the living room. I set it up last night. 
Um, it is a flocked tree. It is beautiful. <laughs> it's beautiful. Um, we ordered our tree from King of Christmas. And I think the coolest thing that I've ever experienced with a Christmas tree is that this company sends you gloves for shaping your tree. Game changer. Because every time I fluff out these trees with my hands, my fingers are like as dry as the Sahara. So having these gloves, I put them on and they like go all the way up. It was really cool. So I put them on, I fluffed out the tree. Um, and afterwards I took the gloves off and I was like, oh, my hands, my hands are saved. <laughs> it's amazing. So, um, but I didn't want to show it this week because I want it to be decorated. And so I plan on decorating it today, tomorrow, this weekend, whatever I decide. I just need to get the right wave of inspiration. Um, so, so yes, I am, I love it. I love this tree. I love how it turned out. My daughter, when she came home from daycare yesterday was like, yes. And, uh, and then when I put up the tree in the living room, she came in here, took her train off this tree and went and put it on that one. And I was like, oh, I'm sorry, baby. That goes on your tree. <laughs> that doesn't go on this tree. <laughs> she was like, oh, uh, uh, okay. Um, I have my, I switched out all of our mugs. I, I don't do, I only usually do decor seasonally, but for Christmas, I do Christmas dinnerware and drinkware and everything. Spode is uh, very special in my family. So um, I have my own set of Spode. Everybody in my family has their own set of Spode. Um, so I am drinking out of my Spode mug, um, my peppermint mocha that I've been making. Okay, sorry for that little tangent. Let's go on to my whips. Whips are works in progress. Um, I don't know why. Somebody tell me because I don't know. I'm just not feeling very um, motivated to work on Hello Dear by Caterpillar Cross Stitch. I don't know why. Um, but I have told myself I have to work on it over Thanksgiving. So during Thanksgiving and Black Friday and that whole weekend, because I have a four day weekend, I told myself I have to work on this. So, but all I've done, <laughs> all I've done is that little branch and the top of the deer. <laughs> Um, this is the whole thing. I, I really love this. I just, I think I went so hard on it that I just like, I'm like, okay, I need a break to work on some other things. Plus I know that each part takes me several days to complete. I just needed a break. So, um, I mean, I plan on having it done before Christmas so I can like actually put it up. Um, I just, I just needed a break. So all I've done is this. <laughs> um, so that's that. And then the last part comes out on Monday. So when I work on it over Thanksgiving, I will have the whole thing. And so I'll probably just have at it, you know, go ham. So that's Hello Dear by Caterpillar Cross Stitch. The only other thing that I've been working on, let me pull it up, is another ornament from the Ornament Magazine. Um, okay. So I don't think it's on the front. No, it's not. So I'm doing this ornament for my mom. It's this one, which is Winter Village by Lucy Heaton Cross Stitch Designs. So you can see it's like a little cabin in the woods. Um, I decided to do this one for my, for my mom because they recently bought a piece of property in the woods. And they're gonna be building a house on it soon. They live in a small town in Arizona. So I just felt like that really like fit what they have going on. Um, I picked up, this is, okay. This is my first time stitching on linen and on even weave. Um, and it's a 32 count and it is gingham. I love this. It's like a taupe color. So I didn't wanna cut it just in case. <laughs> So this is where I'm at. Um, this is a quick stitch because it is so small. Um, I love this. I'm not using any of the called for colors. Um, I have them all written down. So I'll, I'll post them when I finish it. 
but this is a Weeks Dye Works, and then these are all DMC. Um, this fabric is from Hobby Lobby. This is what it is. The 32 count Murano Care? Car? Karai? I don't know. Um, so I, I really like this. I also bought it in gray, which I will show you in a minute. Um, but I, I really like this. This is like such a quick, quick stitch, very easy to learn on. Um, I was very nervous about learning how to stitch on even weave, but it's very easy. I can see the holes. Um, I think it is taking me longer slightly just because I am being careful and trying to count and everything. But once you get the hang of it, I feel like it really goes quickly. So, um, so yeah, I'm really excited about this one. And so this kind of takes us into our haul portion. I picked up, I think it was Helen D that talked about it. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it was Helen. Um, if you are not subscribed to Helen D's channel, go subscribe. Her finishes are beautiful. Her, the patterns that she does are beautiful. I just, I love watching her channel for inspiration on how to finish things and on what patterns to do, how to decorate, because she, you can like see her decorations in the background. I just, I really enjoy her channel and everything that she has to say. So, um, I picked this up. It's an ornament. And if it's not Helen that talked about this, it was somebody else and I will think of who it is and I, I will say down below. Um, so I picked this up, but the inside is uh, blank. And I think, I think this might be small enough to stick in here. If not, it'll just barely, barely be big enough or too big. So, um, I'm thinking about trying to fit it into this because I think that would be really cute to have the ornament on this side and then if when it's hanging it kind of spins you have something on the other side you know so it's not completely like you know whatever um the only thing I have to I like this bow and I kind of want to keep it there I just have to figure out if I want to find something to put over this so that when it is hanging on this side you have something else here maybe do like a little pick or a button or something um I don't know so um I'm hoping that this will fit in here I don't know I I have to do some measuring I don't have a protractor so it'll just basically be using a very um oh maybe I have a cup I might have a cup this size we'll see we'll figure it out but I'm hoping to fit it into this because I think this would be really cute. And I think it would work with like the vibe my mom is going for, for their new house and stuff when it's actually built. They haven't even started. So, you know, <laughs> just this will be her first ornament, her first new ornament. Um, so that's this, what I have planned for this. Um, when I was at Hobby Lobby, I picked up some floss. I picked up the two remaining flosses that I needed for a Christmas Carol, the the um, stitching book club um, stitch along that starts the beginning of December. I also picked up this fabric in gray because I plan on using this for myself for different projects. Um, so I have that. And then the only other thing is, and I wasn't even going to get it, but... Oh no, this is not it. That's the old one. I picked up, is it this one? Yes. I picked up another issue of the World of Cross Stitching Magazine. This is the November 2020 issue. And I picked it up mainly because I really like that Santa. Um, who knows if I will ever do it, but just to at least have it. I really like the Santa. And I also really like these two down here. Um, I mean, there's lots of different patterns in here that are super, super cute. Um, and so I liked this. I wasn't even going to get it, but my husband was with me and he's like, just get it. You'll just get it. And I'm like, but it's like 
kind of expensive, you know, it's like $15. It's like, just get it. I'm like, okay, fine. Um, but the other night when I, I didn't do any stitching because I had a headache, um, I pulled these out because I, I realized that there's a Sudoku in the back. So I did both of those instead of stitching. And I did, I finished both. Yes, I'm a crazy person that does my Sudoku and pen. Um, I've just always done them in pen now that I think about it. But because I did these, I kind of want to get a Sudoku book and put it in my stocking because this was really fun. So um, it's kind of like a nice little thing to do, maybe like when I'm in the car or something, waiting for my food. Um, but otherwise, that's, that's all I have. Um, yeah, because this was the only other thing that I bought, plus some random floss. So, um, you know, I plan on finishing my ornament for my mom. I plan on working on my Hello Dear during Chris during Thanksgiving, not Christmas. We're not at Christmas yet. We haven't skipped a month. Um, I originally thought I wasn't going to do a video next week, but I probably will because I will have finished this and I want to be able to show it to you before I give it to my sister and she takes it home. So I most likely will have a video and I <laughs> said that this video was going to be a short one and I'm already past 20 minutes. So next week's, who knows? Honestly, my perception of time is all over the place. But um, that's all I got. I'm going to go drink my coffee and work and um, so... Again, if you have any suggestions on how to finish this, let me know because I really don't know what to do. Um, I don't know. And I'm like agonizing over it because I'm like, I need to finish it. So, um, so yeah, that's all I got. Um, let me know what your favorite dinosaur is. Don't forget that part. Um, let me know if you have any suggestions for this and I will see you next week. Bye.